Hi Capricorn, this is Brooke. Welcome to Nightbird Tarot and welcome to your June Tarot Forecast with me. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Capricorn. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this reading. Many months your moon or your rising sign may be more significant for you. So if your sun sign is Capricorn and this reading doesn't resonate, make sure to check out your moon or your rising sign video. If you're not sure what that is, there's many websites online that can coordinate your moon and your rising sign by the time of your birth. So I have a Capricorn moon in my chart. So I very often watch other readings on YouTube for my moon sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck for this month's reading. I've laid out five cards and interestingly enough you are the only sign I've read for this month that has had four major arcana cards in their reading so there's a major event that is taking place in the month of June you may already have are feeling the effects of this or are entering into this period in the month of June a definite clearing away of the old stuff for Capricorn in the month of June as well as very very significant events and I'll get to that in a minute so we start with the major arcana card the tower that's in your theme or the atmospheric element position the tower because this is a general reading the tower can be disrupted change. This can be inevitable change. This is something that is basically unstoppable. This also could be very applicable to disturbing events. This also could be very applicable to the collapse of an old way of life. So because it is a general reading, however this applies to you Capricorn in your life, this will have different significance or different significant meanings for each of you that are watching. So the tower comes in and it's very much a spiritual clearing, a spiritual cleansing. The tower card is very useful. It doesn't need to come from a dramatic, traumatic place. It's very significant in terms of change, in terms of inevitable change, almost as if it's corresponding to your divine life plan this was meant to happen for some reason and however you take this Capricorn it's useful for you in some form so the tower has appeared in your theme it's very significant and this also can be one where it can run the gamut from being something very disturbing or it can be very illuminating in your life as well. This can be a change of residence, this could be a new job, this could be separation or divorce for many, this could be an accident, this could be loss of security, this could be bankruptcy, this could be some sort of natural disaster, this can run the gamut. So it's all about the death of an illusion. So anything that you are being liberated from or breaking free from as well. So the tower has multiple, multiple meanings associated with it if you read it on its own. So very often when you see the tower appear in a spread, there's a definite, ultimate, inevitable change that may come across as being shocking or being very dramatic at the time. So with the Tower card, following this we see Strength, Temperance, and the Chariot. So these four major arcana card readings, or readings, these major arcana cards in your reading Capricorn are very much a storyline. Strength is coming out of the most recent past. So there's been definitely an event of some kind where Capricorn has had to really rely on either support from other people or really draw upon your inner strength or the well of inner strength within yourselves. For many, this could have been 
the death of a close loved one. This also could have been news of separation or divorce in your own lives. There's been some form of inevitable sweeping change that has come in for Capricorn. Strength's very notable about the wisdom that comes out of situations like this. Oh my God, I'll never survive this. It's a survival card of accessing a certain resolve within yourselves, Capricorn, to over overcome this event or overcome this obstacle in particular. So this is coming out of the most recent past events indicated by the Strength card where Capricorns had to be not only very strong, literally, but has really had to rely on perhaps emotional support from other people, friends, family, and has also had to be very much in command of reigning in your emotions to be strong perhaps for others who perhaps are going through this or facing some form of great change in their lives. Now the present position energy we see is temperance. Temperance is, this is a beautiful rendition of temperance in this deck. Temperance is very much about the flow and harmony of relationships. Very much for Capricorn this month, it may be very significant in this event that has occurred in terms of relationships. This could be your marriage. This could be a partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be a work relationship where there's diversity, different backgrounds, different cultures, different religions, all coming into play, all coming into focus. Different cultural back backgrounds, different ethnicities, something's very much diverse, different cultures for Capricorn as well. And temperance is all about the flow and harmony or creating harmony or flow in a communal type of setting and the focus for Capricorn presently may be a, may be fixed upon getting everybody together meeting up together supporting one another for many this also could be attending groups if you're going through a divorce or separation you might find yourself attending a divorce support group uh, either where you live or online a separation support group this also can be uh, group meetings or group settings for perhaps losing or having the death of a loved one. So something's very much about support and great emotional support for Capricorn this month. So temperance is showing up to validate to Capricorn that some sort of harmony or some sort of cooperation with others is very much the focus and has very much been the focus resulting from this event. The challenge for Capricorn in your challenge position, we see the chariot card. So the chariot's all about overcoming challenges, very much about overcoming obstacles, and is very much a courageous card. So for the chariot to be in your challenge position, I really believe Capricorn is not only taking things head on, but you are also perhaps having to be called upon or being asked to do things that perhaps you weren't prepared to do. But the message is you're able to do it, Capricorn, especially with your leadership style position and then also in terms of the, having abilities to be very organized and also having the abilities to also be very coolly detached from emergency situations, also able to rein in your emotions when it comes to perhaps dramatic events. Capricorn has the ability to be, to be very much a leader in a lot of different situations. So you're being called upon this month, Capricorn, to step up perhaps and be the leader 
in a certain type of situation or event. So very much overcoming challenges, pushing through them with great success this month. So many people, I get the sense, are very much relying upon your wisdom, very much relying upon your inner strength, and very much admiring your ability to take these things head on. Now, in the outcome position, we see the two of rods. And interesting that the two of rods showed up because this to me very much signifies a waiting period. So there's some form of waiting period. This could be what is necessary or what is needed for Capricorn at this given time or in the month of June. And during this, you may feel a bit restless. Why aren't things happening? Why isn't this going through? Why can't we get resolution from this but there's some sort of transition associated with this card and it's also signifying a point or a stage from this energy of events of considering a new project or taking on a different approach to things from this and this also can be very applicable in terms of opportunity. So there's some form of opportunity coming out of this. And my grandmother always said there's always a silver lining in anything in life. And sometimes it's hard to see that silver lining. Sometimes it's hard to even know that it's there. But there's some form of opportunity stemming from these events. And it's also this card is validating to Capricorn of having the ability and taking charge this month, taking charge of your life, taking charge of these events, being able to overcome obstacles and to also at the same time, there's an opportunity that's going to enable you to make some sort of plan for the future. So the this card in particular is very significant to the rest of the reading. And I think for Capricorn, this is not a negative reading. This is very much one that is pertaining to life events this month and very much validating the, the major importance of these events. And there's some form of opportunity stemming out of this. So good luck to you, Capricorn. Have a fabulous month in the month of June. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, check out my website. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so and ring that bell button to get future notifications. Many blessings and much peace, and I'll speak to you soon.